The Center for Advanced Fetal Care is a regional standard for ultrasound evaluation of the fetus at all gestational ages. We have the tools to investigate, to treat, to manage the pregnancy and deliver the baby so that the transition from a difficult fetal life can become a normal transition in our beautiful intensive care nursery and into the waiting arms of our many experts in neonatal and pediatric subspecialties. A family whose baby has congenital heart disease is challenged, threatened by that severe abnormality. The job of the team in the fetal heart program is to make the diagnosis accurately, educate the family so they can participate, and prepare the baby for the healthiest start possible. Fetal Heart Program was created almost 10 years ago. It was aiming to bring together all areas of speciality dealing with high-risk pregnant patients with congenital heart defects. We have privilege to take care of a very large number of patients. And we have privilege to care of a very large spectrum of disease. This could be very complex disease to the very minor and common heart defects. Our objective in the program is to diagnose heart defects as early as possible, starting from 12 weeks. Prenatal diagnosis of congenital heart defects can improve the outcomes in the future. The Center for Advanced Fetal Care and the Fetal Heart Program bring together experts from multiple areas before babies are even born so that the uh, complex care needs can be either anticipated or addressed. Working with the Fetal Heart Program gives neonatologists like myself, as well as professionals from other disciplines on the, both the obstetric and pediatric side, an opportunity to work together, um, to learn from each other, and to apply all of our knowledge and skills to each baby individually. It is important for the patient to understand what kind of problems they're into. And it is important for the patient to understand what kind of process they're gonna go through. And it is also important for the patient to understand what's the likelihood outcome for the problem. Therefore, it's our role as a field heart program to put this all together to the patient, educate them, and give them appropriate, very transparent, very direct expectations for their child. At our 20-week ultrasound, they found the abnormality in the heart and transferred our care to the Fetal Heart Center here at Maryland. We felt like there was somebody super knowledgeable every step of the way. I never felt like I was alone. I always felt like I could ask a question and you know, get an answer that was caring as well as knowledgeable. He prepared me for all the possibilities when she was born and next steps, as well as coordinated our delivery and made sure that there was whatever team that needed to be in place there when when she arrived. As well as the fetal heart defects, we assess the fetus as a whole. We want to make sure that there's no other chromosomal abnormality along with it. If a baby has a, a heart defect as the result of an underlying chromosome abnormality or genetic syndrome, identifying that genetic syndrome prenatally um, is exceptionally helpful. Uh, first of all, it can help the family's plan, and second of all, it can help the healthcare team optimize that infant's care from the moment of delivery and sometimes even before that. We have a very wide research portfolio. We are focusing on mainly first trimester screening and diagnosing the heart defect as early as possible. The role of the basic research program is really to identify molecular mechanisms that may contribute to heart malformations and in the context of fetal development, um, abnormal heart function. This can be obtained using animal models in which we can obtain tissues which you could not otherwise obtain from patients, for example. This allows us to identify molecular mechanisms that may contribute to the heart malformations. By identifying these pathways, we can potentially identify biomarker molecules that then can be used to develop screening tools. We can also develop therapeutic strategies that may target these molecular mechanisms in the hopes of preventing heart malformations or the abnormal heart function. There is a seamless transition between basic science research and clinical translational research. We're trying to understand more about stem cells, for example, and how they, we, how they can improve the cardiac function of our patients. 
We're embarking on the first stem cell trial in congenital heart disease patients in order to improve the life and expectancy of these patients. The joy of my work to see fetuses in utero and diagnose these complex heart defects. And when I talk to the patients about how complicated this heart defect is, I try to be very hopeful because I have seen a lot of cases with the complex heart defects that they come, they visit, they hug me at the end of the process. We can celebrate their birthdays. It's priceless to uh, provide care to this group of patients and give them hope because I always have a hope and I want the patients also to have hope and their physicians and their parents too. From research to education to family-centered care for the most precise, earliest, most reliable diagnosis all the way to the most complex treatment of congenital heart disease. The Fetal Heart Program at the Center for Advanced Fetal Care at the University of Maryland Medical Center is where you want to be. Thank you.